I was somehow lucky enough to receive an invitation to the Dawn Trail Media Tour, where I was given the opportunity to test out the level 100 iterations of all 21 of the game's jobs. In order to make sure you can get all the information you want quickly, I've sectioned each of my Media Tour videos into three sections. Firstly comes the changes and additions, including tooltips. Then I will talk more in depth on how I feel about the jobs. It's here that I'll talk about the various little bits and pieces that I tested, how this will shift their playstyle and give you a bit of a primer of exactly what to expect going into the next expansion. Lastly, at the end of the video, I will have a full list of the jobs tooltips from the Media Tour build, including traits. Do please bear in mind that what I played was a development build, and it's totally subject to change, especially potencies. So don't take this as a final product, but it can be very useful to see intention and direction from the developers. Additionally, I had very limited time to test everything, and our play session was at like 400 ping due to needing to route the server access through North America, then all the way to Japan. So what you're going to be seeing from me is definitely not peak gameplay. My apologies, I did the best I could with what we had access to. Atonement is now a three-hit combo of unique attacks rather than just the same attack three times in a row. Now you follow up the initial hit with Supplication and Sepulture. The combo hits for 440, 460 and 480 potency respectively. Requiesca upgrades to Imperator, now doing 580 potency on hit. At level 100, you get the brand new Blade of Honor OGCD as a combo action at the end of your Confitia combo, replacing the Imperator button. This massive instant hit deals 740 potency of damage. Sentinel upgrades to Guardian at level 92, increasing its mitigation percentage from 30 to 40%. It also gains the unique secondary effect of providing a 1000 potency shield to the Paladin when you click it. And honestly, that is a crazy strong secondary. Goring is now a combo action off a of fight or flight, and as a result shares a button with it. This means you can only Goring within the fight or flight window in 7.0. Paladin also received a bunch of potency buffs on their GCDs to help bring them in line with the upgrades that other jobs got. Reprisal had its duration buff from 10 to 15 seconds, and Rampart gains an additional secondary effect for all tanks that increases HP recovery via healing actions on self for 15%. Honestly, in actual function, Paladin basically didn't change at all aside from the upgrades that it got and the addition of its new OGCD attack to use within fight or flight. We got the job additions early in 6.3 essentially, lucky us. 